We good, we are live. Awesome, man, I haven't done a live video in such a long time. Hopefully everyone gets their notifications and the audio is good as always. Um, I'm gonna hang out for a second and make sure notifications are sent out, audio is good. I'm gonna make sure audio is good on my end and start uh, prepping some of the parts um, for this live. So, cool, starting to see people get in here. Let me know down in the comments if you guys can hear me all right. Um, audio level's good and you guys can hear uh, some background music or whatever. What up, Paradox? What up, David? What's going on? What up, Gavin? Logan? Cool. All right. Obviously, notifications have been sent out. We are good there. Um, let me get my live set up on my end here. Boom. Turn off this. Cool. All right. I'm in the stream. I got your comments going. Audio looks like we're good, so I'm not going to stall it any much longer. Um, as you guys can see, we have a 2013 um, plus 636 with us today, and uh, we're doing, well, I should already say, we kind of already knocked out the sub cage and the cage um, from Cox Stunt Parts, and uh, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't start this live earlier, but I still have the HEL brake lines and the clip-ons to still do, so I thought, what a cool thing to jump you guys in on a live, um, not jump you guys in, Jesus, um, but to, to have you guys here with me when I'm knocking out some, uh, some pretty cool parts. No, this is not a giveaway. This is not a giveaway. So um, I'm going to grab the clip-ons, and we're going to get to going on it. Uh, I already drilled out the ignition and relocated the ignition down here from the triple. So I'm going to get the clip-ons. Tell you guys a little bit about these clip-ons, too. What we got going on. These are... Cox Stunt Parts, zero degree uh, clip-ons. I've always been a big guy on the zero degrees. Uh, I, I don't like a really aggressive seven degree angle. So these are zero degrees. Let me grab the other one. I'm gonna grab the wrong side. So throw these on. What is up? Yeah, it's a rainy day here. New bike, Amin. Amin might know something. I don't know, buddy. We'll see. Um, so this goes on there like this, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Er, gotta get these straight first. Boom, just like that. Loosen them up. Lo live the bike. Yeah, you live it. I think you meant love. Thank you for your service. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, that's Cowboys. Sis. We'll see. There's definitely going to be some uh, videos on this bike in the near future here. Brian636, any thoughts on uh, thrashing dirt bars versus clip-ons? Yes, I have a strong opinion about those. Hey, Mitty FN. Not much, but it's all I got because of this lockdown. Dude, I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Um, this lockdown's definitely been getting me down as well. So uh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Big time. I'll just put each of these on right now. The bottom, the bottom clips, whatever you want to call these. Whatever. Ah, someone told me they go on like that. Like this side up. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would make sense. There we go. Okay. Just putting them on wrong, guys. I'm still reading your guys' comments. Don't worry. I'm right here. Pretty shitty rainy day here. Nothing really going on. So I thought I'd come out here, wrench, and uh, catch up with a couple of you guys, let you know what's going on in my neck of the woods, and uh, give you some wrenching time. Because Lord knows we all need it. Yeah, like this. This side goes up right. Cool. All right, bring the computer over here. All right, uh, dirt, so back to your question. Dirt bars. Um, dirt bars versus clip-ons. I do not like dirt bars. I have never liked dirt bars. I've never really even run them. I've run a lot of bikes with them. Um, my opinion is uh, this isn't a dirt bike. Dirt bike guys don't use clip-ons, so end of story. But it's not that easy. Um, 
A lot of guys vouch by them. Uh, I just, I'm not one of them. That's all. Never liked them. Got a thing, about a boom. Uh, the Chicago rain sucks. Yeah, it does. What's good? Chicago rain sucks. Yes, James. Dank really likes them, right? Uh, Dank does. I think he's run clip-ons before, though. So, it's hard to say. Who knows what that guy likes? We don't even know if he likes girls yet. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, he does. Would you use dirt bike bars, though? Yeah, I do on the ground. And I do on, uh, on of course, the dirt bike. But on the sport bikes, man, I've always been a clip-on guy. I don't know. Just this is what it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. I'm going to get this triple on, even though we got another triple. We have a Cox triple coming for this bike um, in a couple days here. He was just out, so he sent me everything else. Um, we're going to put the stock one back on for a little bit here, I think. I think. Oh. I might need a little rubber mallet smacker one time. Give her a smack. So what's everybody up to? Where are you guys all from? And how is this affecting um, your guys' countries, cities, and everything like that? I want to know. Because it sucks over here in Chicago. I'll tell you that much. It's, it's not, a, not a happy time for anybody. Boom. Cool. That is going to look good. Let me know where y'all are from and how this is affecting where you are from. Oklahoma. Supermoto, um, Nevada, New Mexico, Guam, Iraq, Toronto. Holy crap. We got people all over the place. I'm from Malaysia, Germany, Ontario, Chicago. There we go. Montana, Santa Fe, Maryland. Wow. Um, you guys are everywhere, it, uh, it looks like. So on my question, how is this affecting you guys? Is there a lot of people in this chat that have been laid off? or uh, been fired, or any of the above, because I feel like that's becoming a commonplace more and more with, uh, with a lot of people here. Unfortunately, it is, uh, it is the current time we're living in. We got Oki boys, it's gay, I can't go outside. Yes, it's terrible. That is, it is not good for anybody. It's not good for business, it's not good for anybody. What do we got? Jamaica. I'm watching this live. Yes, you are. You are watching it live. Ryan, how long have you rode? Um, I've been riding the majority of my life, man, as far as BMX and um, dirt bikes and everything like that. I've been riding the majority of my life. How long have I been stunt riding for, however? Um, about four or five years now. Ugh. It's already happened. We've lost a nut and bolt. Great. Secure this triple on there. Indiana, Kokomo, Indiana. There's a man, Kokomo. Got it. So we always want to secure this whole top clamp thing before uh, before we go adjusting our clip-ons to where we want them. Boom. Face reveal, please. Um, I, yeah, I don't want to say it, but if you guys know where it's at, you know where it's at, you know where it's at. Starts with a P and ends with an A and N. Um, my neighbors called the cops on us. That sucks. That sucks. You got bad neighbors. Ugh. The big ass 12 millimeter Allen. A little bit different than the 0304. Where do you live? You must be really new to this channel. I live in Chicago, Illinois. God bless. 
Uh, what's the fastest you've been on a bike? Man, I don't know. What kind of questions are these? What kind of questions are these? I, I, back in my squid days, let's just say I'm lucky to have lived through my squid days. I think a lot of people are lucky to live through their squid days. Those go fast days. Lucky to be alive, man. Tighten this down. Lots of tightening and loosening during this process to make sure everything is where you want it, you know? What do you guys think of this 13 though, huh? Pretty cool. I'll go ahead and start it up and everything when we're all we're all done. Boom. Yo! Training wheels! Sorry I'm late. Hey! I love you, baby. Thank you for that. Thank you. You're all good. You're forgiven. Just doing some wrench with me live during this rainy day. Clutch on wrong side. What? Clutch is right here. That is a clutch, an elite Mototech clutch. So shout out to them for uh, supporting yet another build over here. Oh, you are totally right. Totally right. Let's see if I can get it through. That would be a pain in the ass if I can't get this fucking through. Ah, oh, whatever. 100% right there, thank you. Good call. My dumb ass. My dumb ass. Hey, Adam Cutler. How's it going? What up with the super sticker? My man, thank you. Uh, it's going okay, man. It's a, it's a rainy day here. Um, everyone has to wear face masks everywhere. It's uh, it's depressing, but whatever. What can you do? But at least I'm out here in the garage with my bikes, with you guys. So it could be a whole lot worse, right? Bada bing, bada boom. And just like that, the clutch is good to go again. Boom, clutch, good. Uh, tighten down this. I'll tighten down that side clip on in pretty much the exact position right there. You always want to torque these up to snug. Always snug these down good. I don't know if anyone's ever had a clip on come loose on before, but it is uh, not fun. What? Joe, what's up, brother? Sorry I'm late. Just got in from riding and just saw the live notification. Here's some gas loop. Love the videos. Dude, thank you so much. That means the fucking world to me. Um, I hope you had fun riding. I definitely can't ride today. I wish I could. It is pouring here in Chicago right now. I don't know what the hell's going on, but we've had some really shitty weather during this lockdown, which is not making anything better. It's not fun. I got out and rode yesterday for a little bit on the supermoto. That was fun. Love riding that thing. Bada bing, bada boom. So, I'm not gonna put it on yet, but just so we have an idea of where it's gonna go. Right around there. And we'll probably run these in a little bit. Probably right around there. Yeah, I'd say right around here. So, yeah. That's probably tentatively where it's gonna go, is right there. Tentatively. Go ahead, put the other side on. Gotta make sure we're even on both sides. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, here's a question I've never asked. What bike are you guys all riding here? Who's got a bike, who doesn't have a bike? And if so, what kind of bike are you riding? I want to know. I know where you guys are all from, which is literally all over the world, but I want to know what bike you guys are riding. Snug these down nice and good. What do we got here? Uh, Harley Davidson 48, 0304, 636, hell yeah, Yamaha FZ07, Chickster 750, Stunning H2, what? 
Honda Fours, 2019, 650. I'm only 11. Why is anyone twenty five? Holy crap, I can't even read this fast. CRF 250. Man, is that chat flying. Slow down! I can't read! Oh my god, ZX, ZX 10R, 10R 2005 on 17. Bro, God bless you. Please, wear a helmet. Please, that is scary as fuck. 17 on, a, on literally the, Widow, the Widowmaker. The 2005... What is it, 2004, 2005? Um, ZX-10s are the original Widowmaker, I believe. I believe it is. The original. That is the bike that got a lot of, a lot of uh, bad press. Because it was so fast, you know. And, uh, whatever. God bless. God bless you. Snug these down. Snug them down. Can am. I said bike. I didn't say three wheel weird thing. I said bike. Ain't nobody, nobody like can amps. Come on. I'm kidding, but for real, what the hell? Can am. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and move these a little bit back in. Well, first, let me get the other side on. What am I doing? We're gonna see where we really should have these. Hmm. I feel like I'm that far up or not? I don't know. Can't decide. Go look at my OPR Ford for a second. Yeah, that looks right around the same as the 3 Oh, 304 game. Mm. Great. Screwed that up. Um, what bike is that? This is a 2013 uh, ZX6R, formerly uh, a 636. Yes, it is a 636. There will be some upcoming videos on this bike, actually. Some news with this bike. This is gonna be a cool one. Some pretty big news going on though. I'm excited. Once we get some good weather here and I can get out on a bike, I will make a video on it. Wow, what do we got going on here? Whoop. Come back over to the other side so y'all can see. Boom, boom. Probably move it over a little bit. Guys, this is going to be a lot of adjusting, at least for the clip-on portion. During the brake line portion, that's pretty, that's a little bit easier, but this is a lot of my personal preference on where I like the clip-ons, um, and everybody's different. I've seen some wacky setups, but um, I kind of run them in a pretty standard position right up front at a, at a natural angle like this. So... I'll go ahead and start tightening shit down here, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Bada bing, bada boom. Yo, Dusty! Sorry I had to leave Patreon, brother. Still here. Dude, I 100% understand. I really do. Um, I've gotten some messages from, from guys, whether it's the YouTube membership thing or uh, Patreon. Uh, and... I 100% I get it, man, whether it's the financial situation due to this whole corona bullshit or whatever, man. Like, I 100% I, I, I fucking get it. You know what I mean? Like, life is unpredictable, you know? And with this situation we got going on, too, like, it's nuts. You can never predict this, so. I appreciate you, Dusty. You're the main. Yo, Alex Durham. Thank you, brother. Not even a text. Next time, next time, put something in the text so I can read something from you, bud. I appreciate that, though, man. I love y'all. Um, 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 um. Yeah. 
I might drop this down a little bit lower now. This is 100% troubleshooting, guys, because every bike and every clip-on setup, everything is different, you know? Everybody runs everything differently. I don't even, there's not a right or a wrong way to run anything. It's all personal preference. Because obviously a five foot guy is gonna have a lot different preference than a six foot two guy, you know? I'm where their, I'm where their bars should be. Go ahead, lower this again. Yo, Joe, is this fight for you giveaway or somebody else? Um, it's a good question. It's kind of a complicated situation what we're gonna have going on here with this one. Um, once again, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything yet just because uh, I would like to do a whole unveiling video on it uh, with a test ride, parts list, shout out, all that stuff, and uh, some of the plans for what this bike really is gonna be. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil it in a live for, uh, for the companies that have supported and the, and the main person that's really, that's uh, really helped this bike become what it is. Um, I just think it would do disjustice for me to just blow it in a live. Not saying that you guys aren't the shit, but I think he wants like a whole video. Yo, Tommy. Thank you, brother. My man with the fist bumps. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. My man. Yo, 636. Watching this on TV, I just installed... Uh, in that bus I showed you the other day, tagged you in my story on IG. Dude, I know exactly what you're talking about. That shit is sick. That is um, straight up probably one of the cleanest bus builds I've ever seen. Um, with the bike in the back like that, dude, that's so cool. And on top of that, um, I don't know if you saw my, my uh, 10 year video on YouTube, but that you have the exact same bike that I had when I was living out in California. Um, and I'm pretty sure you said you're doing track days or something like that, so. That's so cool. Really jealous of that. That's a cool setup. I'm not jealous, I'm, I'm happy for you, bud. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That looks good. This side looks good. Maybe I'll move it in just a little bit more, but that side looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and snug everything down on this side. Height-wise looks good. Angle-wise, we look pretty good. So we'll snug it all down. And then um, somebody remind me to tighten it all up later. You always wanna come in after you do clip-ons and retighten everything. 636, uh, can I play Warzone with you? Absolutely. Yes, I put it in. Uh, I put it in my last video, my gamer tag. And, but please forgive me. I got like a hundred fucking requests um, because I put that in one of my videos. I didn't know I was gonna get swarmed like that. But yeah, I got a lot of friend requests. So um, I hopped on last night and I played with a couple of subscribers last night. I played Warzone with a couple of guys, so that was pretty cool. Shout out to uh, to Dylan, my man. Thanks for adding me. And Showing me a little bit about what the pros do in Warzone. I'm definitely not good. Hey, we out here. Yo, what up, dude? And during and doing nothing. Yeah, I turn the PS4 on a lot, dude. Um, because Kara watches YouTube on it, and so do I. We just that's our TV pretty much, is our PlayStation, so cool. Bada bing, bada fucking boom. We in the money. Now, to make the other side look identical. Six for six dogs, whoa! My man, with the six dollars and 36 cents. I love you, bro. That shit's funny, I love it. Then when you guys send the six dollars and 36 cents, I wonder what the guy at YouTube thinks who, who sees all this, he's like, what? What a weird amount that they all send. So strange. Some sweet bars. Yeah, man, I like these. I am, uh, like I said before, I'm a fan of the zero degrees. These are zero degree bars. Um, I'm a fan of the zero degree instead of the seven degree. That's just how I've always, how I've always been. Not saying that seven degree is wrong. 
However, it is personal preference, so. It is what it is, I like them. Uh, go ahead and do some knees. Put this down. All right, what do we got? Makes the bike come together, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, the, the bars look good. I'm gonna give you guys a, a little bit of a sneak peek, like a walk around here of this, of this bike. Because there's a lot of cool stuff going on on this one. Boom. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, love your videos. Hey, man, thank you. Tips for a new rider. Tips for a new rider. Um, some tips for a new rider. Well, I'd probably ask what kind of riding you want to do. But uh, most importantly, get a good helmet. Not one that's just DOT, but one that's snell approved. Um, those are the best ratings. A new rider is definitely going to go down. It's inevitable. Fuck, I'm gonna go down. It's inevitable. Everybody's gonna go down. It's inevitable. So make sure you have a good helmet. That's uh, that's number one. Man, this feels good. That's number one. And uh, number two is probably have good insurance. Um, have a good contingency plan of you know, good guys to ride with, good role models to look at, um, whether they're on YouTube or whether they're the guy next door or whatever, you know. I know I've had uh, quite a few mentors with bike riding. Here, I'll bring you guys over to the other side. Woo! Up in the air, 10 feet. Bring you guys over here. Yo, what? Is it possible for a Hood Eats YouTube meetup? That would be so cool. Um... What a freaking great idea. Yes. Yes. That would definitely be possible. I think that would be awesome. Ben Le Van Lu. Always love your videos, Brian. Had to sell my old bike a while ago, but trying to get back on two wheels. Love you, brother. Dude, love you, Ben. And I hope to get you back on two wheels soon, man. Um, I'm sure if you're like most of the guys in this chat, life doesn't feel quite right unless you're on two wheels. Just like I was just talking about how it kind of sucks the weather going on. Just is what it is. But I understand I've had to sell my bikes for personal reasons before as well. And um, it gets you down, but you come back. I promise. Life goes on. And you know what? You will come back. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Start hooking up the throttle. Now, one of the things that I did before I... Uh, this is going to be a common tread this live. One of the things I did before I went live here is I took a grinder and you see this? There was a little notch right here. Oh, sorry. There was a little notch right in here and it, sti and it uh, goes into the slot on a stock clip-on. However, on these aftermarket clip-ons, there's no slot for them to go into. So you need to shave this off on the throttle tube. Um, the pressure from the two screws together will hold it there. That slot is just something that Kawasaki does from the factory. Um, to make sure their throttle doesn't move. Go ahead and get these cables on. If I can get this cable out. Might need a pair of needle nose. Grab her. Grab her up out of there. Um, I've been down and out plenty of times. Never sold my bike. Had to... Cry from my cold, dead fingers. Yeah, man. I mean, when, when push comes to shove, like I love my bikes to death. Um, but when push really does come to shove and you're backed into a corner, it, stuff really starts to, to make sense of what's what, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I, it's hard to explain to, to somebody why another grown man who loves Loves motorcycles would sell his bike, but it makes sense when you're in the moment, I guess. I don't know. Family, kids, your house, all that stuff comes before riding. Man, it does. Hopefully I can get the throttle on like this. I don't know what I'm going to be able to, guys. Tried to try to sneak her out. <clears throat> yep. I don't know. So this girl goes on that side and this 
side goes on that side. Ah, I see, I see, I see, said the blind man. Bada bing, bada boom. So we'll run this. Sorry, totally just talking to myself while you guys, while I have 263 people watching, what? Yeah, uh, lube it a little. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna spray some WD once it's all together, bud. Always do. Always do. Where's somebody that's going to talk shit about WD-40? Where are they? Oh, get them out of here. There we go. Man, that feels great. I don't even know if I'm going to spray some lube in there, man. I don't know. That feels pretty damn good. Um, what's up, Ryan? What up? That's what she said. 5,500 for insurance. That's a lot. Holy crap. 5,500 a year. What? What have you done? What have you done that it's that high? That's nuts. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know, I know that you probably have a high risk motorcycle and stuff, but 5,500 a year? That's like, a, that's like literally a, a new bike a year. That's crazy. Do you think an MT-07 would be good for a new rider? Yeah, I do. I think that would be a great great starter bike, actually. It's not, over, it's not overpowered or anything like that, like some of these uh, Japanese sport bikes. So, yeah, I think that would be a great bike, man. Ugh. Your boy's struggling. Where is a good place for you guys? I'll put you in front of the bike. That way you guys can see what's going on. Don't worry, I can still monitor your comments from the, from the computer screen. And that way you guys can still see what's going on over here. I think we might have to take off this brake line to make this work, guys. 636 Dogs World, on set. Yes, you are on set. Welcome. It's a goddamn movie. All right. Put that on. Like I said, I might not even be able to get this stock line up there. I was gonna change the lines on this live anyway. Um, but yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Get some of these in there. We got our throttle all set. Um, thoughts on the 0708. Not the best stump like my guy. Not the best stump bike. Yo, Jake, I'm gonna get a 2019 636 for my first bike soon. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, but to each their own. I don't know, I'm not, I'm nobody's parent, so. I just know that my stepdad, when, um, when I was growing up, here's a little story time. When I was growing up and I wanted my first sport bike, you know, I'd had the pocket bikes for a while, I was like, man, how cool would it be to ride a sport bike to high school? And, you know, I wanted one. And his only stipulation was not an inline four. Because he knew bikes. He knows bikes. Not new, but he knows bikes pretty well himself. And uh, his only stipulation was not an inline four. Not a race bike. Sorry. So it didn't matter what it was. So that's how I ended up on that Ninja 500. Little, uh, little history lesson. See if I can slide this in there. Like this. There you go. We got a new reservoir coming too. Don't worry. This reservoir has got to go. I know. Big ass thing. Big ass thing. Bro, what up? What up, El Lobo? How's it going? Dang, my parents won't let me get a bike with clip-ons. Huh? Oh, like you can only have a dirt bike or something like that? That makes sense. That's kind of cool. It's a cool way of looking at things, I guess. What is this, a tundra? What do we got going on here? Allen wrench? I'm going to have to take that off, guys. It is what it is. 
we will have to find a new home for her. Um, Hayabusa, time to upgrade. Yeah, Busa, my baby. Yeah, yeah. Who don't like a goddamn Busa? <laughs> my Busa boys are in the house. I always love when a Busa, a fellow Busa man comes and visits. A fellow Busa boy. All right, I might be able to get this up here just just so we can just so we can take the brake line off too. Whoa. Um, love boosts. Yes, love the background beat. Hey, thanks, man. This is uh, one of the original um, hoodie songs. Jake, I don't want to upgrade anytime soon, so six three six it is. Yeah, the the 636 is definitely not something you're gonna have grow. Anybody that and this is coming from a guy that used to, you know, race and, and do track and, and everything like that, you really you truly do not need a 1000 um, for much of anything, man. You really don't. It's it is so much bike. And I and I mean that. It is so much bike. Man, I'm gonna need to cut this fucking windscreen, aren't I? Yep. I'm gonna need to cut it even more. God damn it. God damn it. Hope you guys aren't having a busy day because this might turn into a long ass live. This could turn into a really long live. Uh, six shot for the stunt parts, yes. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna cut the windscreen with you guys here. Um, definitely was not planning on it. Hope you guys are ready for this. I didn't think I was gonna have to cut it. I didn't think I was gonna have to cut it more, I should say, because I've already cut it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, obviously, we're gonna have to cut this windscreen more. We just are. It is what it is. We're probably gonna have to cut right from the top of this bolt up like this. Barely missed the speedometer there. Yeah. Guys, I need some uh, I need some confidence boosters here down in the comments. Tell me it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. I hate doing this twice. It's the OEM fairing. Got a bang. Man, she's gonna be a low cut. Go like this. Go like this. Now you wanna do this, you can do this as many times as you want. So even though even if it looks you know a little janky at first, we can redo this. We can redo this if need be. If it looks good, it looks good. But if not, it, Fuck it. Yo, Jake, so you're telling me an S1000 is a bad choice? Yes, that is a terrible choice for a, a beginner bike. What? Now we want to step back, make sure it looks even. Got about a quarter of an inch there, maybe an eighth of an inch there. Move that a little bit. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Huh. Well, kids, don't try this at home. Let's get the Dremel. Where is the Dremel? Here we go. Oop. All right. Make sure we don't hit that speedometer. That would suck. Can you imagine if we cut off the speedometer? <sighs> I know this hurts me just as much, guys. These are OEM fairings.
in too deep now. We're in deep. Move you guys over to this side. Careful I don't cut myself on my Dremel. The disc broke the disc but as you can see we're making good progress boys god damn things fucking hot oh, don't worry we got another disc uh what's going on in the comments somebody catch me up that was going on changing the disc on this thing really quick so we can get back to cutting Somebody catch me up, what's going on in the comments? Um, description says 2013, guys. Yeah, gotta uh, try to put uh, some information in the description for y'all. Trying. Love Brian, ask what year the bike is. This is uh, 2002. Suzuki Hayabusa. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Back to the cutting. Sound like we're in the dentist's office.
Bading, bading. Cool. Very nice, very nice. We can work with this. We can work with that. Now we just need to smooth her all over. That looks pretty fucking good. That looks pretty good for a YouTube live special. Y'all put me under so much pressure. Try to get the majority of it off like this. Just to peel. The rest we can take a, a screwdriver to. Or a piece of sandpaper or whatever. Try to just do this though. Can you guys see? Show you what's going on. You know, that don't look too fucking bad. That's pretty good. What up? Clutch up. What? Try to catch up. It kind of looks like a 13. It kind of looks like y'all should check the damn description. <laughs> I need an air compressor in here so I can blow everything off with compressed air. Go ahead. Try to get as much of this excess off as possible before I come in here and with the pick and sandpaper. Yo, new member? What? Jay, my man. Thank you, brother. That's so cool. That's the second time that's ever happened in a live when somebody's joined like that. That's awesome. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, grab a screwdriver for this last little bit here. And welcome, dude. Y'all get uh, early access to a lot of videos, entered in giveaways, all that good stuff over there. Go ahead and smooth all this out too. I don't know how. Yo, what? Another new member? Eddie Cannon. Dude, thank you. Welcome. What the hell? Y'all are crazy. Thank you. Clean all this up. back. Look at what the hell am I cleaning this with a pair of slacks? Bada bing, bada boom. So just like that should be all good. Now I'll show you why we just cut that. Why we had to cut that, I should say. Didn't really want to, but it was more of a have to situation. We're in between a rock and a hard place. Let's say that. God, dude, this little burnt edge off. Man. Bada bing, bada. There we go. This little piece driving me nuts. There we go. Yeah, the Dremel like burns this plastic. So when it's cutting, it kind of, kind of screws with it a little bit. All right, um, clean up the edges with a torch. Yeah, that or, or a piece of uh, like a sanding block or something like that. But for the most part, that's all good. Most of it, really does get cleaned up by uh, just picking at it with your fingies. So now, now we got better clearance, still not the best, but we got better clearance. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust 
this hand or this front brake, I should say. So we have the best clearance because we need good clearance because the last thing you want is to go to make a right hand turn and oh, now my front brake's engaged, you know? You just, you don't want that. I've had it happen to me multiple times actually, not just once or twice. <clears throat> once again though, we're gonna do lines on this thing here pretty soon, so. She doesn't wanna come up much more because we got new lines to run. Yeah, we'll run a little bit longer lines and then that, that should do the trick. That way we have full back and forth. Because right now we're not getting it. Um, yeah, we ain't getting it. Or I could raise that up a little bit, but whatever. Let's get to the lines. Holy shit. I said we're doing brake lines this video and we haven't got to them at all. So let's get to the fucking brake lines. Holy hell. First things first, let's start off up top. When? Come on down. Go ahead and take this banjo boat off. And get to it. Is that 12 mil? What do you guys think? Japanese spike, 12 mil? Most likely. Right, yep. 12 mil. I'm gonna lay down a rag over the fairing so I don't have brake fluid going all over them. Lay down a nice, nice rag, something. There you go. Oh, and I'm also gonna go put on my latex gloves. So guys, let me know down in the comments. I've been wanting to say this on a live video or ask this, not say this, ask this on a live video. Where did you guys find my channel and what was the first video that you guys watched from my channel? Um, I'm really curious. Bend over and touch your toes, he's getting the gloves. Time for your Corona check. Time for the Corona check. And I ain't talking about that 1200. Give me another second or two, I'm gonna read the comments. Get this girl off of here. There we go. Perfect, okay, let's see it. Hoodies, hoodies. Been with you since the beginning. The first hoodies. Um, music is good. Uh, bro, I watched Block Stars a lot in high school. I think your video was related. Cool. Um, Break fluid gives you skin cancer and warts. Yeah. Saw you ride on Lower Wacker. Can't remember which video though. That's cool. So it sounds like hoodies. Hoodies is only a year old. Can't believe that. Uh, Nick Bass. Who? Who's Nick Bass? What? Was I in one of this guy's videos or something? Um, um, um hoodies, hoodies, the pocket bike. There we go. The how tos. There we go. Uh. All right, so we got the top part off. Clean that off really quick. Then we'll come on right down below. Down below, oh, oh, oh. That should also be a 12 mil if I'm not mistaken. Doomsday and ROC videos from a few years ago, Ride of Legends, I want to say it was called, yep. Moto Nasty, Moto Madness. Let her leak. Leak all you want, good girl. I'll clean it up for you. Um, Dank Wheelie, there we go. Hoodies episode four, recommended ages ago. Cool, cool. 
Blah, blah, blah. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too, bud. Thank you, training wheels. Love you. Blah, 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 blah. Come over to the other side. Take those ones off. I think these are running to the fender as well, so we're going to have to take those off at some point. They're also the speed sensor. They're not speed sensor, traction control sensor. It's on there. I have to take all these off. Boom, boom. Taking off brake lines. Brake lines are my favorite. Bing, bada, boom, there's our banjos. Now, we just need to pull this off of the front fender. We can get that off. Boom. Oh, fucking jumper line. There we go. So boom, boom, those are out of the fender. So we can pull them. I need to get that off that speed sensor. They're all attached to the speed sensor. Or I keep calling it a speed sensor, traction control. Bring you on over. Um, best stunt bike, best stunt bike. Um, it's kind of a hard question, bud. Everyone's personal opinion is different. I don't know. Overall, best, probably the old 304. There's our jumper line. Um, then we'll go ahead and pull this one down. Pull that down. I need to put another bolt in that front fender. Front fender definitely needs another bolt. And there's the other one. Boom. Off. Gone. Vamoosh. I'm going to grab another bolt for that front fender, guys. You should go in there quite nicely. This is where the reflectors used to be, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Go ahead and do one of them. Do the same to the other side. Who doesn't love a wrench with me live? I love hanging out with you guys, man. And just makes working on bikes so much more enjoyable when I get to answer y'all's comments, kill two birds with one stone, just hang out with the people that make, make my life so exciting and fulfilling. Song. Uh, let me figure that out for you. Since this is the original, Hood Eats, uh, Lovely in Love. All right, let's grab some brake lines. So this is our handbrake. Um, one of them is a foot brake and one of them is a jumper. I don't know which one's which. Oh. Oh. I think these are both going up front. These ones both might be front lines. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think they both look like front lines. Boom, boom. Yeah, I think they're both front lines. I think, I don't think I am running a jumper. I think these are both up to the front. Yeah. And then one on each caliper, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Let's see what our length's looking like, guys. 
See what the length is looking like. Tilt her up. Boom. All right. Nice color match. Thank you, man. Yeah, this uh, this whole bike is gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be one of the cleanest 13s I've ever seen. It's gonna be ridiculous. They say anything worth doing is worth overdoing, right? Go like this, one there, crush washer, one here, crush washer, into the master. Hopefully that works. Hopefully, hopefully we're all good here, boys. Come on now, thread in there. I'm thread it into the master. Uh, what are you doing though? I am putting jumper lines onto the front, or, um, brake lines on the front and I'm not running a jumper. So right now, um, these, these lines are gonna go straight to the calipers, each one right from the master, if that makes, if that makes sense. So normally there's a jumper line across the front tire um, from one caliper to the other. This pretty much gets rid of that. Some guys really like this. I don't really have a personal preference whether it's from the master or not. It doesn't, it doesn't make a, Huge of a difference, to be honest. <sighs> I think I might need another crush washer in there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna run one more crush washer. Oh, man. Alan, thanks for being you. Dude, Alan, you're the motherfucking man. I love you. With the dubski. Yeah, that's the that's the man right there. I'll tell you what. 636 Dog World. What? Brian, question. Is it cheap to live out there? I'm going to move soon. I'm finishing school. Um, Let me be honest with you. Give me a second. Get a crash rush. All right, I'm back. Is it cheap to live out here? Absolutely not. If, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover this. If you want to live in a safe neighborhood, it is not. If you don't really want to live in a safe neighborhood, or that's not up on your priority list, or whatever. Um, I shouldn't say safe neighborhood. Um, man, how do I say this? If you want to live in a neighborhood that has lower crime statistics, yes, it's expensive. If you want to live in an okay neighborhood, then, you know, it's not going to be terribly expensive. And if you don't really care, yeah, you can live out here pretty cheaply, man. Now, I don't know. I... I recently bought a house, so 
I understand that want and need to know information about the neighborhood you want to move to. Do your research, especially in Chicago, man. Do your research of, uh, of what neighborhood you're going to. Um, Chicago is the most segregated city in all of America. So do your research on, on what you want to live. If you want to live in an Italian neighborhood, you can. You can, you can live in Little Italy. If you want to live in a, uh, if you want to live in Greek town, you can live in Greek town. If you want to live on uh, the south side in a 98% black neighborhood, you can. If you want to live in Little Village in a, you know, 95% Hispanic neighborhood, you can. Like it's that's that is what Chicago really is. is a very segregated city. It has been this way for a long time, a long, long time. Um, I'm. I'm not going to say exactly what type of neighborhood I live in, but I do live in a minority neighborhood and I feel perfectly safe. So that's all you need to know. Don't have to move to the Hood Eats neighborhoods. Um, no, you don't have to move to those neighborhoods, but I'm not saying that it's a bad move to move to those neighborhoods. That is 100% on you. If I were you and you're moving to Chicago, um, I'd get a concealed carry, being honest. Concealed carry, if that's what you're worried about is safety. Or if it's price, the jobs here, you know, whether what, whatever kind of job you're gonna get pays to live in, uh, in this living expense type of area. So it is what it is. What editing software do you use? I use Final Cut. Cool. There's a little bit of a lighter hearted question. I lose, I use Final Cut. <laughs> Grab my new banjos. I got new banjos from HEL too. HEL. They are your people for brake lines. For anything brake related, HEL. Don't ask me no dumb ass questions. It's HEL. Um, here we go. Here we go. And I'll bring you all down, down to the ground. <clears throat> Where is our brake line? Here is our brake line. Does it run? Yes, it is running at everything we want it to. Boom. And whoa. Where's our banjo? Not our banjo, but yeah. one more crush washer for this side. Here we go. And I think this is a 14 now. A 14 mil. Shit! Jesus! Holy shit! It just caught the whole fucking bike. It came off the rear stand. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, boys. That scared the fuck out of me. What the fuck? God damn. That was scary. Oh, we're gonna have to kick some. What in the motherfuck? Oh my god. Did that scare y'all as much as it scared me? That came out of nowhere. What the fuck? Fucking sand? Oh my god. Alright, let me grab another sand. Maybe one of them won't try to kill me. Or maybe one that will try to kill me. I don't know. Who knows? Jesus. I'll never run this stand on here. I thought that stand would be good. I used to know. Oh, that was terrifying.
All right, I think we're okay. Holy shit. Holy fucking hell. All right, we're back. Jesus. Whew. We caught it. We're all good. Woo. Man. That scared the fuck out of me. That literally just scared the fuck out of me. Such a beautiful bike, too. Brian, you live like those righteous clip-ons. Are they worth the money? Um, I like the righteous ones. I I ran them for a long time. Uh, I just moved on to the Cox clip-ons and also the Converti bars. So I've tried them all. I like them all. They're all different. They're all different, bud. I'll tell you that much. They all um, have their own pros and cons. Some people like the way others look more than others, and blah, blah, and you know how it goes. Where is another banjo boat? We're going to run the OEM ones. Woo! I can't believe we just caught the bike midair like that. The fuck? I thought we were going down for sure. So chat like reflexes. This is hot. What's up, Alexander? You're hot. <laughs> well, that doesn't work anymore. I'll just have to do a zip tie there. Do a zip tie like that. Boom. Wow, hey, can we get a bike booty check? Yes, we definitely can. Let me put this on pause really quick. Uh. Go ahead and tighten this girl up. Man, those green brake lines look clean as all hell on there. It's gonna be a really good looking bike. Bike booty check, bike booty check, bike booty check. That ass. Look at that. That looks good. Right now, I know it's a little bit of a mess. I'm going to clean it up. But, um, yeah, got pretty much everything installed on it right now, guys. Um, no, that is not a factory rotor. That is a Hayabusa. So, come on back. Get back to working. Got a lot to do still. Well, actually not too much to do compared to what we've already done on this bike. This bike has been a project for a long time, actually. Come on over to the other side. Come on over to my neck of the woods. Guess we can pull this rag off now. Now that we're all good up top. Up top. Um... Where is the factory banjo bolt? I think this should work. She shall work. Hopefully. Never want to put a standard size in there. Thanks for the tip, Ryan636, Gang for Life. May God bless the 636 family, a.k.a. Mafia, a.k.a. Gang for Life. Always here to support you. My man, God bless you. That was a mouthful. That was a mouthful. Wow. Bada bing. I appreciate that, 636 Dogs World. Go ahead, boom, take this girl. Hey, 
Everybody just hanging out, watching some ranch with me live. Who makes music in here? That would be that would be crazy to have like a Wrench With Me Live theme song going. That would be nuts. That'd be next level. That would be nuts. Alexander Bell, love the videos. Keep it up, bro. Dude, I love you guys, man. You know what the crazy thing is, is this channel would literally be nothing. It would be a crazy man talking to himself um, if I didn't have you guys here, you know? Like you, you, my friend, are the lifeblood of this channel. You guys. I've always loved making videos, but believe me, I like making videos more for other people, not just myself, you know? So by you guys being here, um, you're completing the most important part of the channel. Ugh. All right. Front lines are on. Front lines are on. Go ahead and I might lift these up just a smidge. Oh, wrong size. Um, how can I lift these up? I would like to lift the clip-ons up. Just a smidge. That's the nice thing about adjustable clip-ons is your options are limitless with this shit. Literally limitless. So if you want to go a cut hair lower or higher or whatever you want to do, by all means, do it, you know? I think I'm gonna run them right up there. That way I got a little bit of, a little bit more of a rise, you know? Give me a rise, give me a rise. Whoa. Boom, and we got full clearance now. We in the money, boys. Go ahead, tighten this down. Oh, all right. What is your dream bike? My dream bike. You know, man. Wow. Probably uh, the brown, the brown one, the brown 2000 Suzuki Hayabusa with alligator seats and a bolt-on stretch with neon lights hooked in from my cousin from AutoZone. I think that's probably my dream bike. Yee yee! Yup. That's the dream setup. One can only dream, right? LOL bullshit, yeah. Y'all know me too well. How do I get a misguided and 636 decal? Um, I, just message me. If you want a Brian 636 decal, uh, we can definitely include them in a misguided order. Um, but yeah, the description to misguided is literally in every YouTube video. I don't think it's in this live right now, but it's pretty much in every YouTube video, dude. Cool, full clearance. We have clearance. We have full clearance. Thank you for that, Travis. I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, just message me on Instagram with whatever order number you are, and uh, I can do whatever special you want, man. If you want, if you want whatever, I can uh, I can put it in your package. As long as you tell me what order number it is, do them every morning, dog. Every morning, big dog. Ugh. Man, she's in there.
Boom. Guys, this, this could turn into one of my longest live videos in a long time. This could be the one. I know everybody's super busy here with the lockdown. So I hope I'm not taking up anybody's valuable, valuable time. Um, Juan, lots of practice, homie. Yeah, lots of practice. Oh, that's the, you know what? That is the biggest secret. I made a video about a year, maybe two years ago, um, talking about that. The biggest secret to stunt riding is ride time. That, that's it. I, sw I swear to God, if you can get more ride time than the next guy or whatever, if you can ride more or you want to ride more or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, if you have that passion to do it more than the next guy and practice harder, it's, it's, it's kind of like weight training, kind of. And the fact that you're gonna be the best if you do it the most, like, it just is what it is. Um, some, some riders are definitely, like I've seen them, naturals, you know, they come in a lot and they get a trick down within a minute or two. And then there's other guys that struggle for it with months, years. Um, but yeah, I'd say the majority of it has to do with ride time. And I think, I think that's, that's what, uh, what really makes and breaks guys. They get discouraged quickly. We have the Elite Moto Tech clutch lever. This thing is sick. Color matched perfectly. Everything on this bike is color matched. Literally everything. Trevor, your energy is crazy. Keep up the hard work, man. Love the videos. Dude, once again, no. This channel is made, truly made by you guys, the subscribers. Like, there's guys, guys like you that like, send me those positive vibes and, and let me know, you know, what you like, what you don't like, all the above. Um, that's, in my opinion, what really fucking makes this channel special. Like, special. You know, it's, it's something I can't describe. You guys are, you guys are the, are the fucking real MVPs. God damn it. Fucking Alan Rush. Get these old lines out of here. Get that rubber ass line out of here. Put putting the clutch on, then we'll go ahead and put the handbrake on. Show you guys what we're running for all this. Although this clutch is beautiful. I don't know if y'all are seeing that. Beauty. She's a beaut. Trev, what? I can't see. Tristan, binge watching your videos while I wait for my cage and sub cage to come. For my first build, keep up the good work, buddy. Tristan, you're the man, dude. Um, what kind of cage did you go with and everything, man? Like uh, mini cage from who? How how long did they say it was gonna be till it's in? Give me the deets. Give me the dirty deets. Not that dirty. Some deets. We will run this up here. Yes, we have a triple tree coming for this bike as well. We have a triple tree coming. Do not fear. A nice finished Cox triple tree. Really excited about that. It's going to be my first time running one of his tri triples. Everyone clap for Tristan. Thank you, Tristan. You're the man. You're the damn man. Go ahead and mount this Brembo left side radial master as our handbrake. Oh, sex on the beach, boys. That's what we got here. We got us some sex on the beach. Can't get much better than this. Very nice. Go ahead and adjust her out. Oh, come on. Come on. Dreaming. Dreaming. Wow, that feels great. Really, like, I'm not just saying that either. This feels 
it feels like it's supposed to be there like this. Well, that's cool. Well, that's awesome. Take a step back and appreciate what we got going on. Hi, Abusa. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna send you a bunch of beats. I'm a producer. I don't know if you want any old school beats, but I also make trap and future bass. My IG is Hayabusa Beats. Well, if there is a, uh, a beach channel that fits this channel more than Hayabusa Beats, I don't know what it is. So, yes, send me a message. Here's our old windscreen. Thank you, Hayabusa Beats. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so guys, what we got going on here, um, I'll break this down for you um, before I, I go ahead and, and get out of here. I'm going to... Start at least packing it up for the day. I'm, uh, I'm getting tired. I'm an old man. What can I say? I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough. See what we got going on. And fuck, I'll even start it up. Let you listen to her purr. Give me one second. Drop this girl right there. Toss these, I'm gonna to toss the old brake lines. These only belong in the garbage. Only garbage. Oh. Okay. Move this stuff so we can get a proper walk around in. Proper, proper walk around. All right, grab the camera for you. All right, guys, so today we have, and this is not to go away from the unveiling video. We're here live wrenching it with the 636 Live Mafia gang. What up, baby? Um, so one, one time, this is not gonna take away from the reveal video. Uh, I'm not gonna ride it. I'm not gonna do anything right now. So of course, still chiming for that. Start that baby up before ending. Oh, you know I will, bro. Um, so basically from the front to the back, let me hit it really quick. We got, and I know I'm going to miss some shit. I know I am. We got um, HEL brake levers up front. We have an Elite Moto Tech clutch lever. We have a 16 millimeter Brembo, a 16. Justin, love the videos, broski. Getting into this, haha, -ha, just got my first bike, uh, but probably not the bike to stunt. GSXR 1000. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I've seen some GSXR stunners, but no one on a 1000. Be careful with that. Uh, up front, so we got the Elite Moto Tech clutch lever. We have the 16 millimeter Brembo. We have the Cox zero degree clip-ons. Um, we're gonna have the Clean Air mod. I don't know if you can see that. Clean Air mod run right up here. I did not run it up to the up to the middle. Yo, Casey, I wish you were my dad. Um, I wish I was too, but at the same time, I wish I was not a dad. I don't want to be a dad yet. I'm sorry. Holy crap, Mo ES, keep up the good work from Greece. Thank you so much, Mo. Um, let me try to get this parts list over. Holy hell. Um, so we got the clean air mod run up front. I was not able to run it up uh, to here. It's just, uh, it's not the best place in the 13 since it goes directly into the air box. We did the windshield cut. As you know, we just did that today. Yes, indeed, it looks great. Um, we have the dank wheelie mirror block off plates. Come on, get fly, get fly, hit up my guy. Uh, support your your local YouTuber. Lord knows I did. I always do. That's my guy. Um, and working our way towards the back here, we have a uh, a Payetti Customs uh, custom fabbed up tank. And it's not too aggressive of a lip. And I, I told him I didn't want one. And it came out just how I wanted. I love that. Um, with the Cox Stunt Parts Surf Grip. And, of course, he did the nice little cap. He's the same guy that designed and built the tank on my 0304. So I really did like this. This is uh, – I haven't really jumped into it yet, but I can tell I'm going to like that for pulling in and out of stuff. And, of course, we matched everything, like always, with a standard-issued Cox Stunt Parts cage. Um, I was able to just bolt that on today. Very, very, very minimum uh, effort to get that on. Barely had to cut the fairing right there. Um, so it looks still really stock, really OEM, uh, really clean. Down below. Now, this is the first time I've had to do this. Paul Sharp, you are a legend. Can't wait till you plan a Hollywood Boulevard takeover in LA. Keep up the good work. I can't wait either. I love going down to Hollywood and riding. This is my first time I've ever had to do this because I do not have a Dyna and the 0304 does not 
uh, require it either. I did an oil pan mod. This is a bolt-on oil pan from, I believe, Stunt District? I'm not really sure. You can get it over at the Sick Shop, though. Nate over there will hook you up. It basically relocates um, this uh, back portion uh, to where the oil picks up from, right back there, so your uh, motor isn't starving for oil on a wheelie with no oil pressure. You need that if you're doing rev limiter coasters or any type of long wheelies on this thing. You're going to need it. Um, that's just kind of a given. And then within within the motor here, we have an ECU flash, which is the first time I've also had to do anything like that, like any kind of electronic work on a bike, um, just because most of the bikes that I've always built are uh, pretty bare-boned, you know, stuff from the Ancient or a Harley, and it just doesn't require it. So the ECU flash is a must for this. Um, we have a uh, Saddleman and an HT Moto seat. Uh, absolutely love those. They've been really comfy to ride. It's been cool. Got Vortex rear sets. Um, once again, uh, have been awesome to ride with so far. Uh, we have a 64 tooth. Holy fuck. We have a 64 tooth rear sprocket match with an EK chain. Whoop. And a 64 tooth match with the EK chain. And um, yeah, that's going to be a lot of power. But this bike is made to be in the lots. This is not a street bike. This is a show bike. This bike is going to be a show bike. It just is what it is. It's what this bike is built for. I'm not saying it's for me. I'm not saying it's for anybody. However, you're going to have to wait for that unveiling video uh, to really find out what this bike is all about. Um, we have a Cox Stunt Parts um, sub cage on there as well. And we have a Stunt Army reinforced all the way through sub uh, subframe right here. So it takes this two piece or three piece, whatever the fuck piece um, subframe that these new bikes come with and it makes it all into one and it, they reinforce it from the front to the back so you can scrape on it and you can scrape your little heart's desire out if you want. It does not fucking matter. We have a two bros slip on pipe on it. It's super loud. It's super obnoxious. I might get rid of it. I might not. I have no idea. Um, we're going to see what this bike has in store for it. Um, and then last but not least, I, at least I think last but not least, um, is the handbrake. We have a 260 millimeter NDC bracket with the Hayabusa rotor with the four piston handbrake and the two piston foot brake. Whew, that was a mouthful. And of course, up front we have a Michelin 2CT front tire. That's it, I'm done. What do you guys think? Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy that uh, I'm doing this reveal um, in a couple, a uh, couple days too. I'm really excited to get on this bike. This bike is going to be absolutely insane. Um, talk about a fucking clean ass 2013. And I can't wait to get this thing out in the sun so you can see the real color of these cages. Um, it's going to look really crazy. This is definitely one of the cleanest 2013 636s I've ever seen. And I'm really surprised that I built a bike that came out this clean. So I'm sure I'll destroy it in a couple days and uh, probably during the test ride. So guys, I love you. I really do. I really appreciate all the notification guys that jump in here to all my live videos. Um, hang out with me during lockdown. I know this time sucks for a lot of guys. I know a lot of guys are out of work. I'm praying for you. Um, I'm praying for everyone who's sick. I'm praying for everyone whose family has been affected by this. Uh, just know that I really do give a fuck about you guys. And I'm not just saying that. Tristan, I got a Cox Impact adjustable sub cage and KS mini cage. Just did the sprocket change and Hohei designs. Damn, dude, that's a good setup. I like that. Good night, man. But like I was saying, I really do give a fuck about you guys. And uh, I'm praying for you guys just as much as I am my old family because um, that's how much you guys mean to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this live video. I hope you guys uh, stick around for more live videos in the future as I continue to pump out more. And uh, I'm really excited to do this test ride on this bike for you guys. So... Got you on Patreon. Dude, Colin, I appreciate that, man. That's the best place to support me. I love all y'all. Rev that. Fuck, I almost forgot. I got to start it. I'm sorry. I'm going to start it. I relocated the ignition to down there. So just flip the key down there. Boom. We're in neutral. Better open up the garage. Let her warm up a second. I'm going to open up the garage door so I don't die of fumes. Yeah, wait till she warms up so I can give her some kiss. It's a fucking mean, mean bike. You won't, you won't be saying that soon, man. Too quiet? Yeah. This thing's loud as fuck. Hey! Get out of there! Get out of the grass! Hey! Come here! Madison, come here! Come on! Get out of there! Jesus. She 
ain't warmed up yet. And if you guys know me, you know I don't like to rev my not warm bikes. It's loud, man. I'm telling you, it is loud. I did an oil change on it and everything too, of course. Full checkup. Yeah. Trinidad, thank you, brother. I love you. Rev it, I'm going to, yes, two rows. Now, I know a couple guys are gonna ask, why is the check engine light on? Um, when you flash the ECU, and um, get rid of the pair valve and whatever the fuck else for this crazy advanced spaceship exhaust that comes on these things stock. Um, it leaves that light on, so don't worry. All right, let's give her some revs. She's blippy. saying rev limiter I'm not trying to piss off everybody jeez y'all are crazy That's it, boys and girls. That's it. What kind of grips? I got some Vord or Renthal grips coming. I always run Renthal grips on all my stuff, so I got a set of those coming. Renthal, if you didn't know, Renthals, 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 Renthals on everything. They're the best. I love them. They're the most comfy. So I got a set of Renthals coming for these new clip-ons I just put on. Guys, I love you. Please be safe during this lockdown. Um, make sure to turn on those notifications. Um, make sure to check out some of my old videos if you guys haven't all the way caught up. Judging by a lot of the questions that were asked in this video, a lot of people have a lot of catching up to do. If you got questions like how long you've been riding or what was your first bike or all this kind of stuff, I've answered all those. What size sprocket you got on this bike? That It's on all my videos. So make sure to catch up on all my videos. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my, uh, my channel as always. Please be safe and uh, I'm praying for y'all. Peace.